Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster. My speech today is called, What is Practice? And how can we practice better? Now, does it, practice mean anything to you? Like, do you practice sports or music? Anyone, anyone here has practiced before? Yeah. Everyone? What kind of things do you practice? Table tennis. Table tennis? Awesome. So, so do you like practice with, with other people and just play? Like, well, the warm up yeah. for training was 1,400. Oh, so you're really like repeating the motion. So yeah, practice is such an amazing thing. And today in my speech, I'm going to talk about basically what is practice in general, and then some tips on what you should practice in general, and then some tips on how to practice better. So for me, I play music, I play piano, and I'm learning singing, and I'm doing yoga, and I'm doing Pilates, and of course public speaking. So all of these things involve practice and even yoga itself is they call it yoga practice when you go to yoga class and, if, and public speaking class like Toastmasters is practicing. So in all of these areas and pretty much any area in life that you want to achieve a higher level of mastery it's important to practice and practice is a steps of deliberate improvement through sometimes repetition or sometimes doing other activities that will help you improve whatever you want to improve. And now, there's a, been a common saying that says, practice makes perfect. But this is something that's always repeated, but I don't really necessarily agree with that. Because if you just practice the same thing over and over again, you're making that more permanent. Like your practice is in making it permanent. But if you're not practicing the right thing, you will never reach perfection. Another thing that's important is that some people think about the amount of time that you practice as being like the most important thing. And for me, I don't agree with that. I think you can spend 20 hours practicing the wrong way and learn something that is not going to help you at all. So I don't agree with like the amount of time, like, oh, I'm a concert pianist, so I practice 10 hours a day. I must be better than someone who only practices six hours a day. I don't agree with that. So in my speech today, I'm going to talk about why I think that is the case. So secondly, um, how to practice better. And being a musician, I like listening to other musicians talking about how they practice. And one particular musician I really look up to is Robert Glasper, who is an American pianist and he is a music producer. And in a master class with a bunch of music students, he says that it's not that many how many hours that you practice, but it's more how focused you are on what you're practicing and actually what you do while you're practicing. And he says, instead of practicing something over and over again that you're really good at, it's better to practice something that you can't do so that you will improve that one particular thing. So if for, for music, you may find that you're really good at playing the whole piece through, except for the, a few little bars in the middle. But if you want to have fun while you're practicing, you might practice the whole piece, just the parts that you enjoy, and, and that part gets even better and better. And then the part that you didn't do very well at, that part is more... Um, you don't practice that part, it never gets better, so you'll never master that piece. So instead, he says you should practice, focus the first thing you want to do on the thing you don't know how to do yet, and practice hard on trying to problem solve how can you get that piece working better. And then by perpetually challenging yourself, then you can reach a higher level. I guess if you're playing table tennis, you're finding that if you play against people who are better than you, you might improve faster than if you play against people who or you're, you're better than them. Similar with other sports, like you're playing tennis, same, same thing. And in public speaking also, if you're in a club with a lot of really advanced speakers, then you can reach a higher level sooner. Now, a few practice tips and techniques. One thing that I would suggest, from my experience playing piano, is that it's better to focus on one or two things during your practice, rather than trying to practice everything at once. And this is the same with public speaking. Like I know we, public speaking, we have all these different things we're thinking about. We're thinking about our body language and our voice and our movements and the organization of the speech. But it's also really confusing to try to think about everything at once. It can get overwhelming and you may not have a, much of an improvement. So I recommend for anything, especially public speaking, focus on one particular thing that you want to improve for that, that day. And similarly for practice, if I want to work, learn something new, I'll focus on one aspect of my singing, like maybe trying to just reach 
the bridge between my chest voice and my head voice and my, speak, my singing, I'll try to make that transition smoother, and I won't bother singing the low notes or the high notes. I'll just work on that middle range for some time. Another really nice tip for practicing is to break down your task into small pieces and then work on each piece individually and then you can put them all together. That's an example if you're practicing a piano piece and you have to memorize like a big concerto or something. It's better to break it down and just memorize one line at a time and memorize little bits and then you can combine it all together. So those are some basic practice techniques. And uh, in general, practice is the way that you can learn anything. And I think if anyone here is in Toastmasters, you're all very goal-oriented people. You wanted to learn some of your public speaking skills, communication skills. This is very applicable for you, thinking about Toastmasters as being a place to practice. And instead of just coming here and doing what you're really good at, try to find that uncomfortable zone, like Alex was saying. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations and situations where you're challenged, and then focus on specific things that you can improve. So finally, yes, I don't think practice makes perfect because, of course, there's no practice will make something permanent. I also think there's no concept of being perfect. There's always a place that you can go to improve, and there's always a way to make your public speaking better. Even if you've been doing Toastmasters for three or four years, you can always reach a higher level. There's advanced clubs. Uh, I'm probably going to go to one tonight just down the street where these people have been speaking for 20 years and they're really polished and they've won competitions, but you can just keep going and reach a higher level wherever you are, whether it's in uh, table tennis or other sports, music, anything in your life, even something as a skill as computer programming, you can think about it as practice. A lot of the times working at a software company, what you're working on eventually doesn't make it to the market, it may not ship. But the whole process of developing it can be seen as an important practice for yourself. So you can use all those opportunities to create software as a practice for yourself to even get better. So one final closing note is about your mindset. Because if you, say, hit a bad shot in your ten table tennis game and goes off the table, do you really want to think to yourself every time you do that that you've done something wrong? Or do you want to take that, that event and turn it into more of a positive mindset. And it's your emotional response during your practice that can help you guide yourself to even practicing more effectively. So thanks very much.